So column equilibration is uh, very essential when it comes to reverse phase liquid chromatography or even in normal phase liquid chromatography because without appropriate column equilibration, one cannot expect this smooth baseline. And that is the very first indication of whether the system is now suitable for the further analysis. So it may happen sometimes that uh, the column equilibration takes longer time than the analysis time. And there could be some reason why your column takes longer time for the equilibration. I often say that sometimes the people are, you know, using maybe around half day to just equilibrate the column. And in spite of uh, spending long hours for the column equilibration, there may be some surprises during the analysis. So as a part of this video, I am trying to explain what are the reasons that your column is not getting equilibrated properly. And further, we can also discuss upon some of the remedies. So let us talk about the very first reason why your column may require longer equilibration time. And it is a mobile phase containing ion pair reagent. See, in case if you look at the retention mechanism in case of uh, reverse phase chromatography, you will find that the non-polar compound get retained for the good amount of time. But in case if your compound is polar in the nature, that can elute early in the chromatographic run and it may lost its uh, very important characteristic like peak shape or number of theoretical plates. And hence you have to retain that compound for now the longer time. So how one can retain the polar compound for longer time? Just by adding the ion pair reagent into the mobile phase. The example of ion pair reagent can be N-hexane uh, uh, sulfonate sodium salt. So the moment you add this salt into the mobile phase, now this salt is going to get associated with your C8, C8 or C18 column. So your stationary phase no longer act like C8 or C18 column, but it will just act like the polar stationary phase because now there is a polar body present onto the stationary phase. SO3 minus and balanced by the Na plus in case of uh, in case of uh, hexane sulfonate sodium salt. Now this takes longer time to happen because uh, the saturation of the column by this uh, ion pair reagent is very essential to achieve the consistent retention time. So how one can solve the challenge longer equilibration due to the ion pairing reagent? It is just by avoiding the usage of the ion pairing reagent. You have to avoid the use. So how one can then dealt with the, the shorter retention time for the polar compound? I mean, you can use the polar stationary phases such as uh, amine stationary phase or amide columns. Pentafluorophenyl stationary phase is also quite good in uh, retaining the polar compounds. And this stationary phase, if you use, then the ion pair reagent will no longer require for the retention of the polar compound. So the number one reason for the, uh, you know, the more equi the higher equilibration time could be the usage of ion pairing reagent. The second reason behind the longer equilibration time can be the highly aqueous based mobile phase. See, we are talking about the reverse phase liquid chromatography and in case of reverse phase chromatography, our mobile phase is going to be a little polar in the nature. However, the stationary phase is going to be non-polar in the nature. Now, what are the example of non-polar stationary phases? Maybe C8 or C18. Not in the property of the stationary phase, are they miscible with water? Aqueous stationary phase? Absolutely not because they are oil-like uh, uh, stationary phases. And hence they will not get uh, easily wet because of just water. Now the wetting of stationary phase is very essential to have this uh, partitioning or absorption desorption happen. So in case if a mobile phase contain only aqueous con compound or water and buffer, then the de-wetting of the C8 or C18 stationary phase is going to happen. De-wetting. So de-wetting because of the highly aqueous based mobile phase is called as the stationary phase collapse. Your C8 or C18 chains will never be opened up uh, and hence they will not be available. So because of this uh, collapse of the stationary phase, because of the highly aqueous based compound like water, your mobile phase I mean your system will take more time for the equilibration and some of the examples 
I, I have seen that the people are using days together to equilibrate the column containing highly aqueous base mobile phase. Now, how to avoid this uh, particular uh, uh, situation? The first point is, you know, don't use 100% uh, aqueous based mobile phase for any kind of reverse phase liquid chromatography because your column is going to be highly non-polar in the nature. So try to use at least 10%, 15%, 20% is of the organic modifier like acetonitrile or methanol because this modifier is going to help for the weighting of the stationary phase. So let us now understand how one can come out of this particular challenge that higher equilibration time because of the highly aqueous based mobile phase. So first understand why one use the highly aqueous based mobile phase. In case if your compound is highly polar in the nature and it is not getting retained for good amount of time, it is eluting very early in the chromatographic run one can think of using the mobile phase containing highly aqueous based compound. You are just going to reduce the strength of your mobile phase. But rather than just reducing the strength of mobile phase, you can also use the, the polar stationary phase. We talked in the, in the first point also, like uh, amine stationary phase, amide or pentafluorophenyl or just phenol stationary phase. Now this stationary phase are certainly going to help you to retain the polar compound for the longer time and hence you will no longer require highly aqueous based mobile phases. The third important reason for the highly uh, higher amount of equilibration time could be the stiff gradient change from N to initial. See it is no bad in terms of having the gradient uh, runtime. But in case if you are using the gradient runtime, you have to first confirm that you know your initial proportionate of the mobile phase A and B is actually been equilibrated for a good amount of time. Let us understand with the help of examples. So you have a gradient run until 45 minutes, where you have 80, 20 as the initial proportion, then that proportion changes to 30, uh, 10 to 10 and 90 percent of it A and B at the 30 minutes. So again, you have the isocratic uh, mode until 45 minutes, 10 and 90. So in case if you do not equilibrate your column with the initial gradient program like 80 and 20% for a good amount of time. So after 45 minutes, if you do not add the initial gradient, your system will not be properly equilibrated for the next injection. So what I suggest you please add 10 to 15 minutes of the time with the 80 to 20 percent after 45 minutes like 45 i mean 46 80 20 and then until 60 minutes 80 20 so that the system will just get equilibrated with the initial gradient which is required during the next injection so the the, the last the another important point is the contamination in hplc system maybe column contamination or the detector contamination can also make you to wait for the longer time for system equilibration. So always keep a practice of uh, good uh, chromatographic uh, system flushing and the cleaning. So whenever you complete the analysis, now you have to flush out all the buffers and salts used during the previous analysis because you need to maintain your pump and the lines free from any kind of uh, undissolved particles. And I think uh, you know that is the purpose of flushing the system, maybe with a higher amount of aqueous uh, mobile phase. The last but not the least, the flow rate and the dimension of the column can be the reason for the higher equilibration time. So in case if you having the low flow rate analytical method, like 0.5 ml per minute, so that may take longer time for the equilibration of your column. So rather than just equilibrating column with 0.5 ml per minute, you can use 1 ml or little higher flow rate to just first equilibrate the column. And then you can move on to the analysis with 0.5 ml per minute. So if the, the column dimensions uh, are higher, like uh, let us say 250 uh, uh, millimeter column. Hmm? So this column is going to require a good amount of time rather than the 50 mm or 100 mm column. So again, you can use the flow rate for the higher dimensions column that will aid into that will help you to equilibrate the column in the shortest equilibration time. So I hope you now understand what are the reasons for the higher equilibration.
of the reverse phase liquid chromatography may be the mobile phase containing ion pair reagent, highly aqueous based mobile phase, the stiff gradient change from N to initial, contamination in HPLC system column detector, and the last is the flow rate and the dimension of the column. Thank you so much and uh, keep learning.